Good morning. Worksheet 10. Um, I've got you setting up common waveforms on the oscilloscope, but then I want you to simulate them in LT Spice. So my thought I'd do is probably a video showing you how to do a sine wave, then maybe a square, then maybe a triangle. <clears throat> Although square and triangle are pretty well related, I might be able to do one video and tell you the differences. I'm going to start with a sine wave. It's the easier of the three. <clears throat> um, so for the question, I give you 8 volt peak to peak sine wave with a frequency of 1K hertz with no DC offset. In the interest of not giving you homework answers, I'm going to go ahead and bump that up. So my peak to peak, and I started a spreadsheet here, was 10. So I'm going to use 10 volts peak to peak, not 8. And I'm going to use a frequency that is, uh, uh, let's do 2,000 hertz. And I will do a minus 1 volt offset. So those are the conditions of the problem that I've outlined. Now, you'd set it up with a function generator. Write down what your X and Y settings were, your probe setting, whether it's times 1 or times 10. Get me to verify it or take a picture of it with your cell phone. Doesn't matter. I also want to simulate the same waveform and show three waveforms. So I created a little spreadsheet here just because of the things I know that Spice will ask for. And we'll populate that in a little bit. So my number of waveforms I want is three. So I'm just going to put in the number three there. Okay, now we can work on the spreadsheet. Given frequency, I need the period. So I gave you a 1 kHz frequency on the problem, but when I typed it in, I typed it in as 2,000. I need to type in my frequency as hertz so I can calculate the period. And the period is equal to 1 divided by the frequency which I put in B2 B2 so there is the period of my waveform now I put a little column in here sometimes when you do the period you get a number with a lot of decimals and if you want to round to something a little more convenient to work with I allowed for that for instance if I make this 2100 you see I'm at 0.0047619. So what if I just rounded that to 0.005? Three O's and a five. Three O's and a five. So I got my rounded time. So that's why I put that in there. So frequency to period is just a reciprocal. If somebody gives you the period, you can get the frequency. 10 volts RMS or 10 volts peak to peak. I need to know what the peak in the RMS is. The peak is just half. So that's for sine wave. One half. You can do the formula. You can type it in. It don't matter. You just need the information. And then this would be 70% of peak equals 0.71 times uh, C3. Okay, so I... For my given voltage value, I know the other two. Because <clears throat> sometimes it's helpful to know those when you go in there. My sample time. Your sample time needs to be about one-tenth of your period. So what you do is you just take your rounded time and you uh, divide it by 10. Or you can add another zero. So it would be 0 0.12345. And I don't like the way that formatted. 5 times 10 to the minus 5. So there's four zeros in there. Might be able to format my cells. Uh, and get the number. I hate doing this in a video because numbers. Um, no, 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 no. Well, let's just do it like that and see what we get. 
decimal places two, three, four, five. Let's just do five. Maybe that'll get it. I don't know. There we go. So I'm rounding my period, a number of waveforms. I just added a whole bunch of, of zeros on there that I don't need on some of this other stuff. Three seconds. Okay. When we're starting a circuit, we have a true transient period, and we're, we, we're going to do this in transient analysis. And typically, we like to delay two cycles before we start uh, sampling. So a cycle is 0 0.0005. So if I delay it two cycles, that would be 0 0.001. And then I want three waveforms. Three waveforms times my period. Um, will give me what I want as far as my sample time. So I need my start time and my end time and my sample time. So I'll just make those bold. This is what we'll need in transient analysis. Start time end time and sample time <clears throat> all right uh, sample time is actually last start time is first start time is just going to equal my delay time so that's equal a8 and you can make a make a formula in here to, to do all this for you so that's my start time this is my sample time and my end time is I wanted three cycles so I've got to take my three multiply it by my period and then add it to that so I can do this this way equals uh, a, a 10 which is 3 times my period my rounded period which is a 4 and then add it to my delay whatever my delay is which is my start time a 12 There you go. So here is my start time, my end time, and my cycle time. My offset is uh, minus one volt DC, and I've got to have this information for spice. All right, so now I should be able to close or minimize the worksheet. And now what I've got is um, I've got my spice circuit here. If I get everything arranged, Maybe, just maybe, there we go, I can build it. I did not put anything on there. I did uh, put in the, uh, get it to where I could place parts. That's as far as I went because I wanted you to see this. So I need a voltage source. Generally, when you simulate, you need some kind of a load. Um, just just so you got something just so you can make an actual circuit so I'll need a ground and what you're doing when you simulate or you do it on an oscilloscope the oscilloscope is actually your load so you do have a complete circuit when you simulate on the bench in LT spice we gotta have a circuit so we're gonna make one the key is setting up the analysis and setting up the voltage source. Okay. I'm going to choose a resistance. It can be anything you want. I'm going to try that 10 meg, see if it likes it. And um, now for the voltage source. Uh, we got to go advanced. We're going to do a sine wave. So fortunately, we have sine, and we can um, go ahead and just put things in. So my offset, well, what was my offset? Minus 1. Minus 1. Ah. I've got to get back over here so I can type it in. Minus 1. What was my amplitude? My amplitude is actually the peak. So it's 5. What was my frequency? I think I did uh, 
2100 for an example, but we wound it up at 2000 hertz. Time delay. Um, we typically won't do anything. I think you can delay before it starts in here. And theta and degrees, you can put in a phase angle. And not sure what theta does. So if you're not sure, leave it blank. That's what I'm doing. Number of cycles. Okay. When we did the calculation, we skipped two and then we cycled three. So I need five or six cycles. So I need to see that. And this is my sine wave. It's pretty straightforward. So I can click on OK. And I've got my resistor. And then all I have to do is the analysis part. Simulation command. I want to do a transient analysis. What was my stop time? Well, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, my stop time is 0 0.00250. 0.00250. Time to start saving data is my start time. So I'm going to ignore the first hundred tenths, hundred thousand. I'm going to ignore the first 1,000 milliseconds. Then I'm going to start saving data at 0 0.001. That's my start time. And my time per step is my sample time. So that's four zeros and a five. Point one, two, three, four zeros and a five. Click OK. And I got my transient. Alrighty. If I type this in right, everything will work. So now I can simulate it. Now, did you catch that? Edit simulation command. It built it. All I needed was those three things. Click OK. I'm good to go. Simulate run. <clears throat> it's going to open up a screen like you would see on the oscilloscope. So all I have to do simply is click. And there's my waveform. One thing that happens is when it starts saving data, it starts at your start time. It's ignoring the previous few seconds and it offsets that start time back to zero so when you look at the waveform here I'm looking at I told it I wanted what 100 to 250 so I've got 150 milliseconds here uh, is that right no I've got 15 milliseconds here that's one Okay, I got one and a half milliseconds here between my start time and my end time. And if you go back over here to the graph, this is my start time. Even though it's delayed, this is my stop time. So this is showing me the 1.5 milliseconds I told it I wanted to see. And based on my frequency, you see that I get three complete waveforms. I have a voltage of 5 as the top, a... Uh, minus of six mm -hmm. so that tells me I've got a minus one volt offset which is it's showing me here because I picked I picked a frequency where it starts perfectly so is that 10 volts peak to peak minus six to plus four is 10 volts peak to peak it's got a minus one DC offset because my zero level is up here actually so it is skewed a little bit south of Z south of zero and so now you can take a snip of this and you know how to simulate a sine wave. I hope this is helpful. I may add this to my the conversion spreadsheet so you can do some transient time. I'll probably save it and I'll probably uh, go through the uh, the other one. A lot's going to be the same. When I do square wave and triangle wave, I'll still need all this. I'll still have a frequency but what we'll have to add then is my rise time, my fall times, and that kind of thing. So there'll be some more things added when I do the triangle and the square. And then the difference will be what I select for rise and fall times. 
anyway and then I might add it to the spreadsheet that's already out there so you got one for the class I hope this is helpful all this you can calculate you should be able to do the conversions of voltages you should be able to come up with a period given a frequency and then everything falls out of that period usually you delay twice usually you get two or three samples so it's just it's just pretty simple math you just need to write it down and and figure out exactly what what you got and I'll probably change this to the spice what spice is asking for although sample time I think is a better one than max time per step and my start and end times I, I think I'll just leave them talk myself out of it anyway uh, thanks for watching this should get you through the sine wave simulations and square and triangle to follow have a great day.